It's time now for Sunday Brunch and joining us this morning is Jeff Sheehan. He is the owner of Chewy's Tex-Mex in Annapolis. Good morning. Good morning. Where are you guys located? So we're in Annapolis right at uh, Festival at Riva right across from Town Center. Um, it's a great location, built a beautiful patio and absolutely beautiful restaurant. You have a very extensive menu and this that you're making this morning is one of your top favorites. Well it is. Uh, you know we thought with it getting cold the perfect thing for everybody is, is soup. Oh, uh, we've, yeah. we've got a fresh homemade tortilla soup that's absolutely delicious. Um, unlike a lot of restaurants our tortilla soup doesn't start with a pre-made stock or mm -hmm. a pre-made base or anything like that. Um, we start with, with whole chicken, uh, fresh vegetables, uh, fresh seasonings, and we let it simmer for hours and hours and hours. Um, so we've got, got a little bit of a this base going so already. So it's absolutely fantastic. And just um, in the so pot, you literally put it in we, the pot we, the way we, it looks here on the plate. We would literally go right in. I would be careful with the chicken. It might make a little bit of a splash okay, with that all hot right. water. That's okay, so I'll hold it for you. Always like to grab mm -hmm. those tongs there and go nice and gentle okay. there. I can Gently. get a hold of it. I know those things are slippery. Yeah, let's grab All right, let's that see. Right yeah, let's let's bring the chicken to the pot. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right, good. And, and then, then in there, it's hard to see because the pot is so deep. But we, you literally have the onions, just the way they look here on the plate, yep. stuck in there. The carrots, which are on steroids, by the way. I've never seen <laughs> carrots that big. And then you have your celery right yep, in there. Yep, we got your celery right in mm -hmm. there. We go in with a little bit of seasoning. Okay. It's, it's a special blend that we have have for our all of our chicken products. Plus, nice. uh, plus a little bit more base there. Mm -hmm. uh, give some beautiful garlic, thyme. Um, you know, some more. So good. more or fresh herbs, um, absolutely delicious. Um, it legitimately stays in a pot like mm -hmm. this for for just hours, so, sitting on a slow simmer, bringing out beautiful flavors. Um, the aroma in our kitchen every day when we make this is absolutely delicious. This smells so good. Um, How long would you actually leave it to sit there to get that um, nice stock? Uh, to, we we do it until the flavor mm -hmm. is right. We okay. it, some, sometimes it'll be you know three hours, sometimes it'll be five. It mm -hmm. all it all depends on you know when we get the right quality out of it. But it goes back right in. Um, yeah. Once once it sits and goes mm -hmm. that way, um, it comes out with a beautiful beautiful clear Oh clear stock gosh, like we have this over is here. Gorgeous. Absolutely right. fantastic. Gonna, uh, do you mind if I just ladle and demonstrate go, what we go got right there? Go right ahead. Because look how beautiful that looks. So, That's, oh God, it smells so good. It is. It is absolutely fantastic. This is comfort food. All right. Yes, and then is. what do you do? Because you've so, got another bowl over so there. We, we do. We've got we've got another bowl with mm -hmm. everything that we fill in there. Uh, with this, what we're putting in is uh, instead of the chicken that we actually boil in here, mm -hmm. uh, we actually put in fresh roasted chicken. Oh, okay. Um, that way you get a beautiful texture. What out do you of do with that chicken? That that chicken actually becomes you know trash, unfortunately. <gasps> because it, it, it is sinful. All right. Well, you know, we want we want that fantastic texture. We want the extra flavor of the okay. roasted chicken as well. All right. So you're um, gonna put that in. So there. with mm -hmm. that, we go with uh, some jack cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, we go oh, with yeah. our fresh roasted Anaheim chilies. Right. Um, we've tomatoes mm -hmm. and some fire roasted corn as well. Oh my gosh. So, so absolutely good. delicious. So that looks actually, beautiful. if you want to go mm -hmm. ahead and ladle, ladle some of that right in there, I will do that for you. You got it. So from there, we go with my absolute favorite part of it. Uh, we're gonna add some fresh avocado right yeah. to it. Um, gonna make sure that we don't add that until the very, very end. Okay, I'm bringing it right over to you right now. I don't put the ladle back in because my husband's been telling me that's just bad food practices. Yep, when you're you want the you wanna make sure you keep it out. Okay. Um, here we go. So what All we're right. gonna do is we're gonna go with Ooh. almost a half an avocado right there. Yeah, and you've got it nicely sliced already. Yep, in, in nicely the... sliced and cubed. And it's skin. There we go. That's just fantastic. Then we're topping it with mm -hmm. what makes it tortilla soup? Uh, tortillas. There we go. Nice. So some absolutely beautiful tortillas oh there. Oh my gosh, that's um, fantastic. You know, it's one of our absolute favorite dishes. Um, the aroma is absolutely beautiful. It's it's really truly favorite. And our then on favorite the side thing. here. Um, so every tortilla that we make in house is is made on our kamal in our dining room. Oh my gosh. So right gosh. on the side here we have some fresh flour tortillas. Look perfect, at that. perfect for dipping and scooping. Absolutely. Um, you know, it's it's truly the classic way that you would eat tortilla soup. <laughs> 